Why? Hello and welcome everybody. So today I wanted to go ahead and talk to you guys about a character I respect. Um, so if you watched the previous video, you'll know that I actually migrated out of my private league and I'm now on a trade league, which is just the standard trade hardcore league. Uh, and the reason why is I wanted to really try out a build that was kind of difficult to play when I couldn't use the uniques because I couldn't get them because, you know, limited trading. So I actually took the Infernal Blow character that I played to like 84 and I respect it entirely into a Glacial Hammer character. Now, the reason why I decided to respect it into a Glacial Hammer character is pretty much because Infernal Blow is a skill that's built around clear speed as it has a built-in explosion effect. But it doesn't really even match up to crazy fast clear speed skills because you have to name lock and you've got to use Ancestral Call, which means you need to overcompensate for the damage. And then your single target kind of lacks a bit. And then you tell yourself, what is the benefit of playing a single target fire build? There isn't, right? Like you have a big ignite, except you don't really. Shock is a multiplier and freeze makes the target not do anything. So I decided to try out Glacial Hammer and I've always tried to make Glacial Hammer work, but... Before 3.7, there was always something lacking, whether it lacked AoE, whether it lacked single target, whether the fact that it lacked both, but we won't talk about that. So I just want to go ahead and bring to you guys a little bit about the Glacial Hammer guy. Now, since I just respect this character over, there's going to be a lot of unoptimized shit that I have. So first, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go run a map, then I'm going to continue and talk about the character. So um, this is not really a super budget build. If you want to play this on budget, you can obviously see I'm using two Doriani's Catalysts. Uh, you don't need to use two Doriani Catalysts. This is just kind of like the upgraded thing you would want to do. But you can also just use a Frost Breath. Um, these are like a 1 to 3 Chaos Unique. You can dual wield them. The build will feel a bit slow, but you can easily go into like yellow tier maps with Frost Breaths. So, with that being said, let's go ahead and get this map started. It is a reduced AoE map, so it may not be the best to show. Um, our simple 5 link right now is Fortify, LE Damage with Attacks, Ancestral Call, Melee Physical, and Glacial Hammer. One thing to note is there's a reason why I'm not using Pulverize, because Pulverize says more melee area damage. So Glacial Hammer is not an area skill. Even if you have melee splash with it, it is not an area skill. So if you look at my damage, if I put if I put Pulverize in, look at the minimum. The minimum is 9,000. The damage does not go up. So it does increase your area of effect if you're using Winter's Burial, to my knowledge, which is this jewel that I have, which also coincidentally gives us 25% conversion with the Cold Splash. So this jewel plus the Adziri Glovecraft that, well, yeah, the Adziri, Adziri mod that you can, not Adziri, sorry, Temple of Atzawadl, there we go, gives the uh, remainder of our conversion. So with that being said, we've got Fortify, LA Damage and Attacks, Ancestral Call, Melee Physical, Glacial Hammer. I think Six Link's probably gonna be maybe Hypothermia or not exactly sure. I'm just using a Warchief Totem, um, just to show you that the Warchief Totem is not doing damage. We're just using it for the buff. You can also use Frost Bomb, but it, too many buttons sometimes. I don't like having to press four different buttons for a boss and then have to keep cycling them. I just like consistency. Um, if you've played Path of Exile a lot, you'll understand what I'm talking about. Uh, where did War Did I actually take the War? I took the Warchief Totem out. Okay, let's get going. So the defenses on this character aren't too good right now. Uh, I'm using like evasion gear hybrid gear when ideally i would want to just use armor gear so i could scale our molten shell since we do have like the armor passives here two armor passives here uh soul of steel which is armor as well um so that will buff up the molten shell here we go We also do not have our Uber Lab. Our Uber Lab is going to be very nice for helping the character feel better. It's the one that gives us the Culling Strike on bosses. Uh, it also gives us 20% movement speed and 20% attack speed. I thought they said that block is only 50%. Now that mob just blocked like 99% of my damage. Um, I'm not going to be doing legions, unfortunately, because I don't think you can actually freeze legion mobs. I think that's something they said they may be working on. 
Um, so I'm just not gonna do it. I don't want to like die on my character for no reason. That would be a shame, unfortunately. What? Oh, some weird desync there. Can only freeze them on release for now. Freezing after is in the works. Okay. Also, for people who want to see without the Herald MTX, I'm going to remove it because this is not what it would look like normally. Oh, that's DD. Oh yeah, there's there's like no corpses, I see. Max, 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 max. So glacial hammer feels really, really nice for bosses because of its freezing potential. Now, note that this is this is a four link for single target because we're using ancestral call. Under any bossing circumstances, you would not ever use ancestral call. And if you wanted to buff it up more for single target, that's when you would use frost bomb. So, now to talk a little bit about the character. So, uh, Frost Bomb is another debuff that you could use that would apply Cold Exposure. You could also use Wave of Conviction, but both of them don't stack, so you use one or the other. Um, so this would be something that is pretty nice for your, uh, your damage ramp up if you wanted it. So, um, I also talked about getting Cull. Uh, someone in the chat brought it up saying Cull only on Unique. So, to explain the reason why I said that, Glacial Hammer has built in 33% calling strike on anything that is not unique. 33% beats Slayer's 20% call. So, um, Glacial Hammer hits enemies, converting some of your physical damage to cold. We explained how we get full conversion. Um, if an enemy f is frozen and is on less than one-third life, they will shatter when hit by Glacial Hammer. If striking three times in a row, the third strike will freeze enemies more easily. The more easily, if you read the last, almost the last line of text, every third successive strike freezes enemies as though dealing 370% more damage. What that means is, if you scale crit multi with Glacial Hammer and you crit on the third hit with decent gear, you will freeze anything that's not frozen. Now, that, that is a bit of an exaggeration, but that's to say if you have a good damaging build, you will easily be able to freeze because that's like almost four times damage, right? That's like built-in crit multi, but not for critting. So what does this mean? This means if you're playing Glacial Hammer and you're going crit, you need really consistent crit to make sure you're actually freezing targets like bosses, right? Rares, it doesn't matter. They're going to get frozen, no problem. So with this guy right now, the reason why I decided to play Slayer over Berserker was pretty much strictly because of Overwhelm which takes our Doriani's Catalyst, buffs the crit rate from 6 to 8. It also reduces the crit multi of nearby enemies, which is good because if something's not frozen, they basically can't deal critical damage to us unless map mods give them that or they have powerful crits. Uh, impact is always nice because of name lock skills. Um, it's still a damage multiplier. It's still really good. The area does work. I know a lot of people are going to say, but Mr. Park Scappa, the area doesn't work. It, it does work. The area damage does not scale it. It may scale the melee splash, but it has no effect on the actual Glacial Hammer. I know that it scales the area, um, and I know this because I've tested with Sand Stance and... Pol oh, actually, I'm an idiot. Oh, no, 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 I'm not an idiot. Okay, yeah. So I've tested with Sand Stance and Blood Stance with Pulverize. If you use Blood Stance and Pulverize, you will clear a significantly less amount of the screen than not using Pulverize... Or, sorry, than using Pulverize and Sand Stance. And you can see. You, you can test it yourself if you want, like, to know. Because if you look at the tooltip, it's not going to properly explain it. Right? Like, it will not explain if I if I mess with my toggles in my area. It's not going to change. So that's something I just want to let you guys know, that the tooltip is not exactly 100% accurate with this. Uh, and there have been mechanics in the past, like Blight and Ball Lightning, not scaling and scaling with certain tags and not displaying on the tooltip, but actually working. So anyway, 
Uh, the reason why I decided to go with maces is because dual wielding and maces, in my opinion, kind of have like a... Well, you don't have to dual wield, but I think for this you should. Um, but it has really nice synergy. So there's this new crit wheel that was added in up top here, which basically gives you crit multi-crit, crit multi-crit, crit multi-crit, crit, huge crit, um, and then th that part doesn't really matter too much. Uh, and then you have here your three-point Galvanic Hammer, which is 5% pen with Ellie damage. Um, so it's super, super beautiful cluster. Also next to the Chaos Res, so that's really nice. Um, we have 5.5k life on the character, but we're not using a metacrafted chess piece yet, which means by using a metacrafted chess piece, we would have like 5,800. You can see here, 5,900, 6k, 6.1, 6.2, 6.3. Um, so easily you can you can get above 6,000 life. You even have like tireless cluster here. You have the two more life nodes here. And I only have one jewel on the build right now, but I think I only get two with my current setup. So with my gear right now, not using anything that crazy, you know, I mean, I invested over 100 chaos into the character, but that's just because I'm not really efficient when I spend currency. I hate trading in Path of Exile. I just want to play the game. So sitting in my hideout without power charges, I'm 62% crit, which is pretty nice. It's, it's a very consistent feel, especially when you're using a diamond flask. Uh, it's super nice for that. But yeah, that's pretty much about it. Uh, Uber Lab is going to give us the Bane of Legends, which is going to give us that nice movement speed and attack speed. It's actually 25% because of this node. Uh, and then from there, I really think it's just building more defensive on the character. Uh, maybe getting a little bit more attack speed, but that's probably just all from Bane of Legends. And then getting that 6 link going. The last thing I want to tell you, I guess I should have opened up with this, but these are the two most annoying parts about playing this build. So if you made it this far in the video, good on you. Number one, due to the mana cost of Glacial Hammer, you are going to need to acquire some type of leech or mana reduction. Now, if you have a metacrafted chess piece from your previous character that's minus 15, you're pretty much good to go already. Unless you have a 6 link, then you want a little bit more. Now, for the next people that say, you can just get le like Leech. You can't. So with this character, I did originally come over here and spec the Leech, but it just feels like such a waste of points. And yeah, I know you can grab Golem's Blood, but it's just... It's so poorly done in my opinion. They should have like made either this one or this one, one of these nodes, Elemental Leech. Because here's the problem. Um, if you're running on 0 0.4 Mono Leech, 0 0.4 Mono Leech works again, but like this is pretty much the only thing to get. So this is what I've kind of done to compensate for that. So thankfully with the new Temple of Otsawaddle, not new, but with Temple of Otsawaddle and you know this league dropping a bunch of random random pieces of gear from previous leagues, you're able to get, uh, quite easily, unless you're playing SSF, you can find Cold Damage Leech's his Life. And it's paired with a hybrid. So if you look, that's a Cold Resist roll with Cold Damage Leech's his Life. So that's 0 0.4 on the amulet. Our Dorian's Catalysts both give us 0 0.2, right? So that's another 0 0.4. So 0 0.4 plus 0 0.4 is 0 0.8. I still don't think that's that much leech. 0. You can do it on 0 0.8, and a little bit more would be nice. So we opted out to get the leech on our boots. Now, the leech on our boots is nice, but the problem with the leech on our boots is it says if you've killed recently. When you get to a boss, um, you know, you're trading a little bit of damage for the ability to permafreeze it, there's not going to be any adds because you're freezing everything, and even the boss won't be able to do anything. Like, even if it summons adds, it won't summon anything because it's frozen. Um, so the boots are... I wouldn't really say that the leech is that important. Um, so I ended up going with the minus mana cost. So getting two rings with minus mana cost, and on a five link, allows me to permanently cast Glacial Hammer. And I don't have, I don't even have uh, a Lyra. I haven't helped a Lyra at all. So if you want to help a Lyra, that's even more flat mana regen per second. It's honestly not bad at all in a league like this where you're running on such low mana. Um, definitely something to take into account. So that pretty much covers uh, everything. Just to go over the conversion again, because I know it's a, it's a big question for people. You've got, you've got a couple of easy ways to convert. Number one, you can go over here. I don't recommend doing that if you're following my build. You can, like, the the best thing to get if you go this way, I'll, I'll just show you. You can come over, you grab Golem's Blood, you get a two-point jewel. You move over, one, two, three. You grab Life and Mono Leech, Life Leech, Vitality Void. You come over, you can choose to grab Dazzling Strikes, and then you can run Sand Stance with Blind. 
or, or stone stance with blind which basically gives you the crit all the time you come down one point you get fangs of frost you can come over, you can grab Swagger, which gives you 8% block. You also have Bludgeon Blitch, which is a really nice node. Then you can move up one point here, grab Thick Skin, move across here. You've got the option of grabbing Fleet Foot. Then you can move up again, and then you have Flash Freeze and Winter Spirit. Winter Spirit gives you 40% conversion, but again, there's just not enough points to travel all across the tree. So I decided to focus more on this left side of the tree uh, than on the right side of the tree personally. If you don't want to do that and you want to do the conversion that I'm doing, you can choose to either use A, two Winter Burial Jewels, or B, you can use one Winter Burial Jewel, and you can use gloves that rolled with physical conversion. So that's an option as well. You can also craft physical conversion if you have like an insane set of gloves. It is a craft. I don't know. I think it's a Divine Orb though. Yeah, so you can do this. It is a Divine Orb, but it's it's another really nice option if you have, like, you know, a crazy sick pair of gloves. You can actually convert to any element, which is really nice. So anyway, that's pretty much going to summarize it and cover it. Hope you guys had a wonderful time. Hope you guys are enjoying yourselves. Let me know if you guys like your Glacial Hammer character. I'm pretty happy with my guy. I mean, the damage is really not that bad at all. In a 4 link with nothing on, it's 221k, and that number can easily just rise up more and more and more if you decide to, you know, go with the DPS tooltip, Path of Building Warrior, Kappa 123. So, take care, have a wonderful time, and I'll see you boys all tomorrow.